Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts for Internet Explorer. The first one I'm going to show you is how to open a new tab. So I'm going to press Ctrl and T at the same time. As you can see, that opens a blank page. Next, if I press Alt and Home at the same time, it'll go back to the home page. Next, if I press Alt and C at the same time, it's going to go to View, Favorites, Feeds, and History. As you can see at the top here, it says Favorites, Feeds, and History. Next, if I press Ctrl and D, it goes to Add a Favorite, and this will add a web page as a favorite. If I press Ctrl and P, it goes to Print. If I press F11, it goes in full screen. And if I press it again, it's going to go back to normal. If I press Ctrl S, it goes to Save As. If I press Ctrl and F, it goes to Find on this page. As you can see, there's now a Find bar up here. Now I'm going to type a word into the Find bar. Now the website that I'm currently on, this is actually my website. It's www.kaylashandcraftedkeychains.com if you want to check it out. Next, if I press F7, it's going to go to Carrot Browsing. As you can see, this window opens. It says Carrot Browsing at the top, and it says, do you want to turn Carrot Browsing on? This feature puts a movable cursor in web pages that you can use to select text using the keyboard. Next, if I press Control Plus, it's going to zoom in. And if I press Control Minus, it's going to zoom back out. And if I press Control and Zero, it goes back to the default zoom, which is 100%. Next, if I press Control Shift and Delete, it goes to Delete Browsing History. From here, you have the option to preserve favorites website data. Down here, you have the option to delete temporary internet files and website files cookies and website data, history, download history, forum data, passwords, and tracking protection, ActiveX filtering, and do not track. Next, if I press Control shift and p it goes to In Private Browsing. As you can see when I do that, it opens a new web page, and at the top here it says In Private. Now, for those of you that don't know what In Private Browsing is, it's the same as an incognito window in Chrome, and it allows you to go to any web page you want and have it not show up in your browsing history. So I'm going to go to Google for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to go out of this and I'm going to press Alt C and I'm going to go to History and Today. As you can see anything that I went to in In Private Browsing is not showing up here. Next if I press Ctrl and J it goes to View Downloads. Now I currently have one download here that's a really old download, so I'm just going to clear the list. Next, if I press F12, it goes to Developer Tools. As you can see down here, we have DOM Explorer, Console, Debugger, Network, UI Responsiveness, Profiler, Memory, and Emulation. Now, if I press Control and 1, it'll go to DOM Explorer. Control 2 goes to Console. Control 3, Debugger. Control 4, Network. Control 5, UI Responsiveness. Control 6, Profiler. Control 7, Memory. And Control 8 goes to Emulation. Now from here, if I press F1, it'll go into Developer Tools Help. Next, if I press Control and P, it will unpin. Now if I press F12 again, as you can see, the Developer Tools looks a bit different. So this is what happens when you unpin it. If I press Ctrl and P again, it's going to pin it, so it's going to end up on the bottom again. Next, if I press Alt and the left arrow key, it's going to go back to the previous web page. If I press Alt and the right arrow key, it's going to go forward again. And if I press F5, it's going to refresh the page. Next, if I press Ctrl and W, it's going to close the current tab I'm in. And since I'm only in one tab, it's going to exit out of Internet Explorer altogether. So those are some useful keyboard shortcuts for Internet Explorer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.